Before going to watch this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello everyone. In this video, let I will show you how to automate birthday emails for employees using Microsoft Power Automate. For that, we need to have our own SharePoint list with name like uh, birthdays where we will have the date of birth of employees and their emails. So create one custom list with name birthdays create and create the columns title maybe we can give in the title name and then the add column we can give here date of birth dob and its type is date and time okay so no default value okay in the add column next column single line of text and we will give email so click save so let me give two entries here and uh, write their names here date of birth something like 31st email I am giving my own email here uh, point reader dot on microsoft dot com and let me give one more entry here Rama Prasad and uh, give let's give date of birth to date so that we can check how the output will come and give his email here and click save so now we have created list birthdays list with uh, name and date of birth and their email and now go to microsoft power automate to create the uh, birthday emails automation so for that we need to have the license first okay so once if you have license go to this Microsoft Power Automate which is formerly known as Flow Microsoft Flow and on the top here you can see new click create uh, something scheduled and you can schedule like this or skip and here you can give like schedule here click recurrence and the interval daily this uh, flow or this uh, automated procedure must check that list so that it will identify that present today's date with that uh, birthday date so here every day we will give frequency and if you want more options like at which time this greeting must send we can write this start time at 12 am or 1 am like that or 6 am so now i'm not giving anything just go to the next step and uh, get the today's date here for that i'm using compose for data input operations so data operations here in the inputs i need to write an expression which will give me the today's date format date time format date time of uh, you can view like uh, utc now and uh, here comma and uh, in which format date must be coming uh, we need to write here like mm dash dd okay hyphen dd okay now we have created the expression for today's date uh, where the date today's date will come in like uh, feb month day, month hyphen uh, day so like feb 06 okay now what we need to do is like uh, feb means 0 to second month so it will we, we need the we need to know the uh, month and uh, day separately so that we need to split this so for that splitting before splitting we need to give uh, this name of name for this uh, step today's date and uh, and 
next for splitting the day and time separately we need to go for compose again click compose and click data operations here in the input uh, we need to write that uh, splitting operations so we need to split this today's date right here today's date is coming so this we need to split so for that expression we need to write outputs of a outputs of it is showing like string so what type of string here the string is like today's date is a string name today's date okay today's date uh, by which symbol we need to split it so I am giving here dash and outputs in the outputs we need to write actually convert to so that outputs of we need to write here split first split then outputs of string name what is string name here today's date okay and here we will separate it with hyphen okay click and go to the and rename this step rename as splitting split mm dash td okay if uh, you if you give space here between the name of the step uh, in the next step if you want to use this string name then we must give it like split underscore okay so now go to compose and uh, split the day and month so here compose and write an expression uh, like outputs outputs and in the outputs uh, split we need to use split right so split so here once uh, when we use this split function which will split the string here it will be considered as an array so array of 0 array of 1 like that we need to go so here split underscore mm dash gd here question mark and 0 this is for month okay so here just rename it like set month okay now go to the next step and set the day and go for compose and here data operations again write an expression here uh, like outputs okay outputs and uh, here we need to give the string again which string the split string here underscore mm dash dd and what is index for this this index will be one okay now we got the day also here rename it set day set day here so after this we need to uh, get items okay so we need to get items from the particular list new step and get click get items here we need to check get items from SharePoint here it is asking the uh, URL of the SharePoint let's see uh, this is our URL for the SharePoint or we need to give as a custom check here our SharePoint list name is uh, is not available here our SharePoint list name is SP lessons okay we can directly copy this and give in the custom address okay here you give sp lessons and once it is there the list list name is birthdays okay now after this after getting the items we need to iterate it okay iterate or uh, uh, after iteration we need to get one by one right so how to iterate items in a list you here is we must use apply to each 
apply to each okay apply to each control okay so here we need to give the output it is showing like select an output from previous steps so here just click your cursor and you can see the value this must be giving as an output okay now after this uh, we will place uh, inputs so what is the input uh, so once we get the items we are now iterating so in the iteration we will iterate the date of birth column right so first get the date of birth column why this date of birth column we must get means to compare our set month and set day which we have created in the top so these two will be compared with the date of birth here okay so for that compose click compose here again data operations in the inputs here you select uh, from the right hand side the column name dot date of birth okay so after this we need to write a condition so which is condition means like uh, the set month set day so this date of birth must contains set day and set month then we can send in greeting to that particular employee okay so we will write a condition here so condition here condition control just click that action and in this condition control here click choose a value here choose a value from the date of birth so date of birth must contain is contains contains choose a value so we can choose a value from set month and set day okay here view i am just clicking here and let's see whether those split months will come here so set month set month outputs okay so month is done now i will add one more add row and uh, it will give choose a value uh, in the choose a value you can write um, again dob and is contains again choose a value in the choose a value choose day here split set month is done set day here check again here which you have given output set month here set month mm, set month here and already you have given day here so like this we can give but little bit here add this much this also must come here right so here delete this in the add again uh, we need to like we can delete this also once one 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 minute we will delete this also or move up like this this or add group it is better to add group i think so let's see delete it and add I don't think so this and is required now here uh, on group add row uh, now like this you can do uh, now you create date of birth uh, contains uh, set month okay set month now date of birth contains set day from the previous steps set today okay now we have created the condition and once we have created the condition come to s okay here here if you want to uh, send an email to that per particular person you can select here choose an action and uh, send and email uh, 
send an email you can select any email here send an email version 2 and here mention that particular name so to mention that particular name we have already created a column right um, click add dynamic content and we can take this column name and in the subject uh, we can write like happy birthday okay and in the font uh, we can write like uh, greetings to like hi good morning many many happy returns of the day many, many happy returns of the day okay we can write like uh, we can write some design kind of thing here we can write like 24 we can write font we can even change color like blue we can take and here uh, so we have given here uh, these kind of fonts everything we can mention uh, we know nothing we need to mention here just it's this is okay and now just save it okay once it is done check any errors are there here once it is done means like um, it is saved already and i think one email must come to uh, that particular person who we have given okay we can run it now or already it's when you, when we saved it's already run ran so we can run it now or we can run next time like first it save it and once it is saved we can name this flow like we can use some name or no need of anything now go to my flows and you can see here our flow is there in the my flows and uh, let's see whether any email come came to that particular person today's birthdays okay so here go to this that particular person uh, his name is ram prasad and his birthday is today so let's check so he got that notification see hi good morning many many happy returns of that day okay if you want to run this one more time you for checking purpose you can go here and click run and click run flow and click done and one more time you will get the message here again you got the message see this is how uh, we can use power automate uh, in our daily uh, usage for in our daily like in the office to automate these kind of procedures like sending some uh, emails like that so this is this is the procedure we can do it in many ways this is one of the procedure okay hope you like this video Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.